Assalamu alaikum fam, hope you're doing well. So, I want to say some things I'm thankful for. Because we all got to remember what we're thankful for. Because a lot of people have less than us. So what I'm really thankful for is my new books. My new hadith books. I'm just so happy. It's just, it feels like the collection is uh, complete. I'm sure there will be more things I can add as I discover new titles of books like the books all of you have written for me and stuff like that but I'm very thankful that I have like substantial like Islamic books now I put a lot of my older books in the recycle bin because it was, it was so many and not every book is worth keeping so in the recycle bin someone will see it you know a lot of people look in those bins for books you know for free and sometimes people just put books on benches and stuff so and some of them were books like uh, from other classes and I thought oh, I'll keep them but I don't really need to keep some of them especially the writing books like on tips on like writing good headlines and uh, how to organize your essays with a quotation sandwich they call it and how the revising stage for your essay and stuff like that I, I pretty much memorized that now inshallah and I don't think Allah will let me forget uh, so I figured I don't really need to hold on to them, right? So put those in the bin. So I'm thankful that I just have a recycle bin for books instead of just having to put them directly in the trash. You know what I'm saying? I'm also thankful that I have great food, that I have food that is halal, and that I have access to organic food because some places are food deserts and it can get quite difficult. I'm also thankful for... All my family is doing pretty healthy. Grandpa's getting old, but he's pretty healthy, you know. He's a pretty strong man. So I'm happy that he's doing well. All my birds are fine. They're quite funny. The Uhtred, he's destroyed some of his toys that I made him, which is kind of funny, which is good though, because that means he's not bored and he's not going to pluck out his feathers. And he's pretty goofy and he's a funny bird. And Hedwig and Hamlet. They're just little divas. They just hang out. Uhtred's more of the funny one who does goofy things for attention. I'm also thankful that I got a lot of good uh, bird footage. Did a lot of good bird watching today. It was very awesome. Didn't find any bugs. I don't know where all the bugs are. I kept trying to put out uh, jelly beans and candy for the ants to get to, to kind of bait them and then check on them in that spot in two days to see what what flavors of candy they ate faster than others. But the squirrels kept stealing all the candy. So that experiment didn't work. And I'm also thankful that the college semester, they said most likely is going to be in person next semester. It's coming up. And I'm very happy because I'm ready to get back to in-person learning, not online stuff. I'm also thankful that my mom is doing great. She seems to be doing all right. She's babysitting this little child who is like, uh, I think, two years old. And that child's mom works 12 hours a day in a factory as a single mom. And she's pregnant. And so my mom is going to take care of the newborn when the baby's born. So my mom will be taking care of a newborn and this little one. And my mom said that she feels blessed by God because she didn't get to raise a lot of her children. As you know, I was raised with my grandparents and my sister. was We were taken away by the government, right? And she only got to raise my brother when we lived in Philly. One of my brothers. And then the other one was adopted out, remember? But he's got reunited. So she said she feels really lucky that and blessed by God that she gets to be a sort of nurturer and like make up lost time with like raising kids and it helps her with her mental health and I like that she's occupying her time positively because when I lived with her in Philly and we were in that in the hood in a very tiny spot she would stay inside a lot and then you know go insane and it's not healthy to be locked inside like a chicken like a dog in a kennel with no mental stimulation and just staring at the TV all day, not exercising, not being able to walk around. Your body fades, you get blood clots, your, you get varicose veins in your legs. Uh, your cardiovascular system suffers because you're not doing any cardio to pump your blood through your chest. 
you become very frail and weak, you have more bad eating habits, and you get arthritis, right? And then it leads to other medical influences. That's why so many doctors say sitting at home, locked inside, not doing any exercise or high intensity workouts, or breathing fresh air, and having mental stimulation with people actually kills you faster. So seeing my mom go through that, because she also has chronic depression and anxiety, and now seeing her have a sense of purpose by taking care of cute little ones has really made me quite happy. Also, all my brothers are doing pretty good. Little bro's doing all right. They're being goofy. Hey, this ants are getting on my bagel. Get off, get off. Oh man, see, we're talking about ants and now they're trying to get into my bagel bag. Little buggers. Must be good then if they already found it. And I'm also thankful that my Wi-Fi has been working pretty good because there's been outages. The plants are starting to get a little too dry, so we got to worry about fires. But so far, there hasn't been any fires close by. So I'm extremely thankful for that because it's getting quite dry. And I haven't got any nosebleeds, so I'm pretty thankful for that. Because whenever the weather gets super dry here in California, my nose will bleed a lot. I don't do well in a dry, arid climate. I belong in the snow where there's humidity in the air, you know, just born that way, I guess. I'm also thankful that my friend's child's doing really good. One of my very close friends has a new child and the child is doing vibrant and I'm extremely happy for her because children are amazing, truly they are. I'm also thankful for all of you, all the knowledge you drop and how funny some of you are and how enlightened a lot of you are. I'm also thankful that we have people protecting the streets at night from criminals. I'm thankful for every person who does something productive to spread Islam in unique, dynamic ways and doesn't just do infighting. That's actually really nice because over-argumentative, over toxic behavior, tearing down your own side, those kind of mindsets is just pretty toxic. In the politics world, you see it a lot. In the gossipy Hollywood type worlds you see it, in the fashion industry you hear it, but in the religiosity side it can get quite sad that there's people who spend most of their time only tearing down others instead of leading by example with positivity and scholarly pursuits. So I'm glad I don't have anyone like that in my inner circle. I don't have anyone like that, I mean disagreeing once in a while is perfectly normal and healthy, right? But not making it a habitual habit. Because some of the political commentators I follow, you get tired of them always being angry every day because you wonder they're going to have like a stress heart attack because they're just constantly angry, irritated, tearing others down. You can't get too vicious for too long. You got to kind of lead by example sometimes. Actions speak louder than words. So if you're always babbling about others with your words but you're not leading yourself, that's where you get into some tricky territory. So I'm quite thankful that Thus far, most of the people I surround myself with are quite positive people who have a lot of strength. And that's a blessing because not everyone has that. I'm also thankful that like, I'm not obsessed with money, right? I don't get manipulated by money or people with money. And that Allah showed me so much these past two weeks about where I should go, what I should do, what kind of people I should talk to. What's right? What's wrong? Allah is amazing. It's really interesting. You just got to survive the tests. Really contemplate the signs. And Allah gives you answers. You just have to recognize them. So I'm highly appreciative of all the signs Allah gives in His subtle ways to His slave. Highly thankful for that. I'm also thankful I have electricity because I like my refrigerator. I'm also thankful for coffee. I'm drinking a hazelnut latte right now. After I drink this one, I'll walk down to the other side and get another one later because I had a cinnamon roll. And I like to drink my coffee with my cinnamon roll. So I'm thankful for my cinnamon roll. But then I'm going to walk far. Not too far. Burn off the calories. And then eat my bagel with a, maybe a shot of Americano, maybe. Americano is espresso with hot water. 
a little bit more potent and then do videos later for all of you. But I'm also thankful though that I don't let people with money manipulate me. I like it that I care more about your character, your scholarly brain, your personality, your mode of speech, the way in which you carry yourself. Allah has blessed me so much. Some people think just because they have money, you automatically got to bow down to them. You got to worship them. You got to listen to them. You can't talk back to them. They talk over you. They think they know everything. It's amazing. It's amazing how Allah is giving me such a great life. It's been so hard, but it's also so great, you know, because I'm so content with what I have. I'm so happy. Got PlayStation, got birds, got a healthy child. Everyone has problems. Like, think about it. They say, like, if anyone tells you, like, oh, you know, you need to focus on this. You need to let go of that. Like, they judge you without really knowing you. It's like, there's people in refugee camps who are probably more pious than me. And Allah has put them to the test. So just because you're suffering, it doesn't mean Allah hates you. Or that Allah wants to punish you. And that you deserve and that you're hated by Allah. It just means that that's the test you've been given. And you bear it the best you can. You know? You can't complain too much to what Allah is giving you. You say, Alhamdulillah, you, you voice pain, but you don't wallow in it. And you don't let anyone rub your face in it as if it's like, oh, I can tell you what to do because I've known you for like a couple, little bit, and I don't really think you should do this or that, you know? No. Allah knows and no one else knows. Unless you enlighten them. And if somebody doesn't want to hear you enlighten them, but they want to proselytize, stand on their soapbox and lecture to you without accurate information and data, resist that. And that's what I've been feeling. Allah is amazing with the mental skills He's given me. No, I'm not bragging about my own mind. I'm saying that it's just nice being able to like resist certain people's energies and their bad habits and their haughtiness. Hey, that's the crossing guard over there. He's a nice guy. He doesn't see me and I wave high. But, oh man, I'm just so thankful. Oh, and you know what? I'm also thankful for the crossing guards because when there gets to be traffic, people drive so quickly that sometimes they don't stop and you can almost get hit by a car. I feel safer when there's crossing guards and they're there like protecting us as we go by, standing so close to the road, holding their stop sign so that people will stop. So I'm very thankful for that. Truly. So, what are you thankful for, fam? Hope you're doing well. And don't forget to say what you're thankful for because it helps you psychologically to get through your darkest moments. And even keep going through your happy moments, you know, because it puts everything into perspective. So, alhamdulillah, life is good.